I wanted to share a little bit more with you about uh, what we're going to do in this assignment, writing a simple story. Because while if you look at the LAI primers, they look very simple, very, you know, a few words, a few sentences. But yet to put these few words and sentences together, there's a lot of things that go into that. And so this exercise is just to help you understand the process a bit and to have some empathy for your local language writers. So you'll see the directions at the top. It says, use the words below to write a simple story of six or seven sentences. The picture words for lesson four should be used at least twice in the story. Try to use old words from lessons one to three as well. And so what you have here now are, these are from lesson four here. You have, um, get my spotlight here. You have these, the new letters in the lesson are E, G, C, K, and O, and you don't need to worry too much about those for this exercise. Our new picture words are bed and hen. Now remember, we said that the picture words we want to use twice in the story. So that means at least two times in your sentences, you want to be able to see bed and you want to be able to see hen. The other new words we want you to use in the story are cook, egg, got, and sick. Now keep in mind, you can only use this form of this word. So like for cook, you can't say he cooks with an S on the end because that's not the correct form. So you have to use a form of the English that will only use this cook. And same for egg. We, we're not going to have plural eggs with an S on the end. Um, it's one egg, got and then sick. Now, to write these sentences, you are going to be able to um, go through and these are words that you have available to you to write your sentences with. So the key is you can only use these words and the exact form of these words, plus you need these new words in your sentences. So it's a bit like a puzzle. You've got to think first kind of storyline. You want something that has a bit of flow to it for that natural story we talked about. But then you also want to kind of limit how much. So we want six or seven sentences, good story flow, bed and hen used twice in the story, the exact form of these words, plus any of these old words. So you're gonna put that story in the class comments. So all your classmates, you can see each other's stories and you can see how many creative things you can do with just a few words. So good luck and we look forward to reading your stories.